continue our conversations with three of the candidates running for Vermont's governor this evening. We asked Democrat Peter Shumlin, Republican Scott Milne, and Libertarian Dan Feliciano what Vermont's energy landscape will look like if they are elected. Uh, I, I believe that we've got, uh, we've already outsourced 75% of the ownership of our energy to Canadian companies. That's a fact. We need to make sure we have a, a good regulatory process set up to protect the interests of Vermonters. We need to be more conservative and less experimental with uh, huge subsidies. Uh, we're forcing uh, power companies to buy energy at four times the going rate. Um, we need to just be more conservative get back to our roots, move slowly. Under the Feliciano administration, this, we would get out of the subsidy business. As you know, we've, we've subsidized the, the, this renewable energy business upwards of $600 million, yet we only get about not even 2% of our energy from there. I would roll back all these all Governor Shumlin's plans about these emissions and reduce those emission controls and let the free markets take reign. The free markets will dictate and provide a better solution to our energy needs than the state can. Well, we put together the first really comprehensive energy plan for Vermont, and I'm proud of it. It basically says that by 2050, we'll be 90% renewable. We're on the road to do that. We've quadrupled the number of solar panels in the state in just the last two years. We're harnessing the wind, our fields, our forests. We're doing everything we can to move the state renewable to renewables. And what that has meant is money in Vermonters' pockets. We've save Vermonters about two to four hundred million dollars in transmission costs as we move from locally generate from from big generation outside of Vermont to local generation but secondly it means jobs Vermont this year has more solar jobs than any state in the country so as we become more energy efficient as we move to more affordable renewables we're not only doing great things for the planet we're also putting money in Vermonters pockets that otherwise would be